Is it too late for a holiday anti-haul? Is it? Is it? Well, if it is, I'm about to do one anyway, so. Hello, all you beautiful people. It's your girl, Asia, the MUA, back with another edition of Adventures in Freelancing. As you can see from the title, this is going to be kind of a different video for me. I've never done an anti-haul before, but I watch my homegirl Tiffany on YouTube, and she is one of my anti-haul queens. I think her YouTube name is Tiff Jeff. 6 9 or something like that but I'll link it below or I'll blur it across the screen or something like that but I'm excited to do this because you can not fall for the hype that makeup companies try to push out around the holiday season you do not have to be a victim to the hype that they push out around this time of year because companies are pushing stuff out pushing stuff out pushing stuff out months before the holiday shopping season even starts and they try to get you with stuff you don't really need so this is just my take on some stuff that I saw that I don't really feel like I need to add to my kit or my collection for various reasons but this is just what I think so the first thing I want to talk about on here is the Morphe holiday set Nothing against the makeup itself, but is it me or do all Morphe palettes kind of look alike? Just a little bit. Like, am I tripping or no? It's just like every time Morphe pushes out another palette, it looks like a different version of the same palette. And in this collection, I'm going to put a picture up somewhere around here. But in this collection, the that really big palette looks like they literally took colors from the Jaclyn Hill collection and threw it into this kit. As far as price point goes, it wasn't, you know, a really big deal. I think the 15 day and night palettes are 15 bucks, so not bad for 15 eyeshadows if Morphe is like your thing. It's just never really been my thing. I feel like the more research I do into the company and the owners, the more sketchy they start to seem for me and it's just like I just I just I can't with Morphe it's never been my thing so I just kind of I've never tried a Morphe brush I've never used a Morphe palette I never once wanted the Jaclyn Hill palette although the brushes in this Morphe holiday kit are gorgeous they are like crystal encrusted brushes and they're really really pretty and when I first saw the price point I was taken aback a little bit because I just don't see myself spending $80 for a brush set but when you think about it how it breaks down it's seven brushes in the set so that's about 10 bucks a brush and just for the design and aesthetics alone that would be something I would probably ask for a gift for but I don't think it's available anymore so moving right along girl girl if Kylie don't get her behind out of here with these stiff ass looking brushes and her $360 price point girl what is wrong with you who okay first of all if I I'm getting like a Sigma brush set and I know these are going to be quality brushes. That's something to invest in. But this, like, this, I would have rather paid $20 for the Wet n Wild brush set that looks very, very similar to this, which I wasn't going to do anyway because I felt like $20 was too much to pay for some Wet n Wild brushes like Kylie. Girl, who is giving you $360 for these brushes? These brushes look like they hurt. They literally look like they will poke you in the eye when you're trying to put on your setting powder. Like they will poke you in the eye when you're trying to blend out your eyeshadow. Like they will poke you on your face when you're trying to blend out your contour. No, girl. No. Have a seat for a long time. Then she released these pictures of these concealers that look like she went in the lab and was like, okay. Make it look like ColourPop and Fenty Beauty had a baby and slapped my name on it and put about 50 shades of it out there because, you know, Riri did that and she did good. So let me do that too. And then push it out to the people. Girl, bye. Okay. 
Another thing that I saw that was like all over the place was the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. Um, these look like they were pretty. I mean, they look like they were okay, but I've always had an issue with Huda Beauty's price point. I think $65 is a lot to pay for a palette, as in the Desert Dusk and the Texture Rose palette. Um, these palettes have nine shades in them, and they're a little smaller, and I think $27 is a lot to pay for a little bitty eyeshadow palette. Although, compared to something that I'm familiar with, which would be the nine palettes at MAC, they come with nine eyeshadows also about the same size. Those are 36 but with my discount, I could get a nine palette from MAC for less than what I would pay for the Huda Beauty palette, so it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me. It's not really cost effective, and I don't feel like I need to add these to my kit at all because I just, I just don't. I, I, Huda Beauty is not really my thing either. It looks like she has some amazing products, but that price point just gets me like, it just made me do this. Like, mm. nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Since we are talking about eyeshadow palettes, um, BH Cosmetics, BH Cosmetics, let me talk to y'all real quick. So, if you've watched a few of my videos, you know I love BH Cosmetics brushes. I love their products. This is one of the brands that I was raised on. It's one of those value brands that is found online in some retail outlets, but mostly online, that can really help you build your kit up to something respectable and not have you breaking the bank. I actually think BH Cosmetics was doing Morphe long before Morphe was doing Morphe. I don't know how Morphe just came out the gate and kind of took that shine away because it's pretty much the same thing. So I've totally been a fan of BH Cosmetics for a long time and I've slowly seen their eyeshadow formula change a little bit over the years but I wish they would just step it up just like a couple more notches and really stop making baked eyeshadow palettes. I am not a fan of baked eyeshadow palettes. Like, not really at all. As far as stocking my kit, I wouldn't put a baked eyeshadow palette in my kit just because they're all shimmer shades. I don't feel like I would be getting the most out of the space that it's going to take up in my kit if I only have one texture of eyeshadows in that palette. Unless it's a matte, because you can do anything with mattes. You can't do any and everything with the shimmer. Keep that in mind also when you're thinking about eyeshadows to put into your kit and the real estate that those palettes is going to take up. So they released the Galaxy Chic palette a long time ago. Then they released the Supernova palette, which looks a lot like the Galaxy Chic palette. Now they released the Zodiac palette, which looks just like the Supernova palette, except you get some mattes thrown in there also. Um, right now, it is on sale, I think, for like 16 bucks. So if that's something you're interested in, now would be the time to get it. Like, for sure, for sure. <sighs> okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, oh my goodness, I hope I do not get dragged at work. But I got to keep it real with y'all. That is one thing you guys will always be able to count on me for, is keeping it 100 with you. I'm going to talk about this collection today because it launched today. The, the Patrick Star collection, like, it's cute, it's pretty packaging, and the boxes are pretty, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's really great to see a MAC artist turned beauty influencer come back to the home brand and release a, a pretty little collection. It's really inspiring, it warms my heart, and all that good stuff, but... Honestly, it's kind of boring. Like, I think there are two eyeshadow quads, so that equals eight eyeshadows. I think they're all regular MAC eyeshadows that you can get at any time. Um, there's some nude lips. There's some red lips. We do nude lips and red lips all day long, B. There's also this baking powder. I've never been one to bake so this wouldn't be something I would be interested in if I didn't work there 
this wouldn't even be something that would be on my radar because if you pick up one of those quads and look at the back of it and see what shades it is actually in it, it's shades you can get in a refill pan for six bucks. I was more excited for the Snowball collection. Like, the Snowball collection totally blew me away. That is a holiday collection. It was so well-rounded. It was so well thought out. It was packaged so well. It was marketed so well. It was absolutely stunning. I was way more excited about that than I am about this Patrick Star collection that launched today. But I know a lot of people are coming in there asking about it just because it's Patrick Star. If you're a fan of his, I definitely recommend you get at least one piece of the collection because you know once it's gone, it's gone. And I think this brings me to the last collection that I wanted to talk about in this video. I feel like I very well may be the last person on earth that has not seen, touched, smelled, heard anything by Fenty Beauty. Like when I'm in the mall, I'm focused on getting to work, getting through my shift and getting out of there as soon as possible. The Sephora store is like way, way, way across the mall from where my counter is. So once I get off, I'm not really trying to trudge through the mall all the way to the other side to go swatch some foundation. So I just haven't had a chance to get in there and touch anything. I'm not a really big Sephora shopper either. So I have yet to figure out what all the hype is about. But her holiday collection, I think this was called the Galaxy, Galaxy Collection as well. That palette, while it is beautiful packaging, everything looks stunning and gorgeous. Again, this palette looks like a palette full of shimmers and I just can't justify that price point. I think it's like $39. I can't justify $40 for a palette full of shimmer shades. I can spend $20 and get a Juvia's Place palette and get shimmers, mattes, duochromes, um, satins, all kinds of stuff for probably half the price, especially now. All these companies that are online are usually having sales. They usually have tons of discount codes all over the place. So be a little smarter with your holiday consuming, especially when it comes to makeup, because these companies will try to take you for a fool and will try to repackage and re-release stuff just so you can buy it and spend your hard-earned coinage. And then once the new year rolls around, you like, oh my God, how am I gonna pay my rent because I spent all this money on makeup and gifts. I think the most important thing when it comes to holiday shopping or shopping in general is being aware. Do your research. Find the discount codes for the stuff you want. See if there are cheaper alternatives to getting your hands on these products. Don't let these companies catch you slipping and then you end up buying some stuff that's going to sit on your vanity, sit in your makeup room, sit on the shelf for the entire year because some company put some pretty packaging on something and made you feel like you had to have it. Because chances are you might not. Chances are you probably got something like it already. So that's just my bit of advice. Again, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my little heart for rocking with me and watching my videos, sharing my videos, leaving me comments. It really, really means everything to me. I hope we go into 2018 slaying together, killing our goals, doing what we need to do, and really bossing up. So until next time I see you guys, stay beautiful.